The Department of Broadcasting at Western Illinois University offers many different programs. In broadcasting, we have three different tracks. We have news and performance, and then we have production, and we have sports broadcasting, which is a new emphasis. The Department of Broadcasting takes pride in WIU TV3, news broadcasts on university television, with your peers as anchors, producers, directors, and a tech crew running all the equipment. Dr. Roger Sadler, professor mainly in charge of news performance, encourages students to excel in what they are passionate about. Our news program is uh, heavily hands-on. We like to have the students come in here and get to touch the equipment. They can do it freshman year if they want to. Come in immediately and start working on stuff. Our main program that we do every week is the newscast. We call it Live at Four. And depending on the semester, how many students we have, we'll do two or three live newscasts a week. And the students are responsible for all aspects of it. Uh, running the audio board, putting together the news stories for the newscast, anchoring the newscast, writing up the stories for the newscast, uh, being technical director, director, producer, they're doing it all. And we try to recreate as much as possible a real world experience so students here can experience what it's like to direct and be part of a live newscast, just like in the real world. Students in the sports broadcasting emphasis prepare to become multimedia sports broadcasters. And that means that they're in front of the camera, they're behind the microphone, they're doing play-by-play -play or color for radio and television, they're um, on their laptops editing a video and audio, they're blogging, they're doing all these things with the idea that they are going to be the most versatile person in a sports broadcasting uh, field. And so all the classes and all the practicum are designed to help give them real life experience so that they are ready to go out and do an internship and a job. Well, my name is Spencer Prelitz. I'm the program director here at WIUS 88.3 The Dog. We're a 24-hour radio station run completely for students, by students. We run alternative music during the day from sunrise to sunset. And overnight, we do urban music, your hip hop, your R&Bs, your top 40s. We try to reach out to the campus as much as we can. We do promotional events, all of our sporting events, football games, basketball games, homecoming we're a big participant in, and we do anything and everything we can to get as much uh, attention to our station as possible. It's a great learning experience for a lot of freshmen, and it's a lot of fun. Within video production, our, our goal is to get our students trained in the gear that people use in professional business. So they're using Final Cut Pro, we're using version 10, and they're also going through the certification process. So by the time they finish their entry level video production class and then their advanced production class, they have completely gone through the certification text and they're ready to get certified in Final Cut Pro 10. So that's very exciting. We want them to be prepared with the tools that they use in the business. They're also, we also train them on using Motion, which is a great special effects engine that uh, goes right along with Final Cut Pro. And uh, we do a couple other things. Of course, in video production, it's not just about editing. We're all about doing production, whether it's live production, field production. We have a live newscast, and so our students are involved with that. They also have the opportunity to work with university television, so they're doing work with people who do this for a living, and so they get that professional experience as well. So it's very much hands-on, very intense. There's lots of things going on. It really keeps them busy, and that's what, and that's what life is as a broadcaster. In each one of the tracks, the students are encouraged to take classes that will help prepare them for different areas of broadcasting. They're all designed to do the best job possible to help them get ready for careers in the industry. Whether it's news and performance, which of course is, is designed to help those in front of the camera a little bit more, the production, which is designed to help people that are interested in getting jobs uh, editing or doing other types of audio production, and then sports broadcasting, which has more of an emphasis in the aspects of uh, sports broadcasting. They're all designed to help prepare uh, students for the industry today.